Welcome back. How are you doing? I, um, I'm doing good. I have a project here that I want to go over with you. It's making a seashell wreath. I just did my nails. <laughs> what I really need is a manicure. Professional one. Anyways, so. Um, I got pink on. <laughs> okay, so. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this entire wreath on this one video. I may have to do it in two pieces because... Oh, and I have to show you. I want to show you the size of this jingle. Do you have... That's what they sound like. Look at the size of that. I found it um, going through my shells. And look at this one. Can you make out the heart on that one? Oh, on the other side, actually, it looks better. Isn't that beautiful? The beauty of nature. Okay, so let me show you what I have here. All right, all these ones around it um, are ones I will probably add into onto the um, the wreath. So I went out and bought a metal wired this is all metal it's um it's for i bought the metal be, because this is going to be a very heavy wreath because of all these shells and what i did is i bought this i don't know what this is called but it's wired there's a wire in it so it can bend so I, I wrapped it around and I'm going to tape it now. So now that I showed you right there and right here, this is what it looks like. Camera is not really taken, getting the whole entire thing in it. The tripod's in the way. There it is. So this will be the top and I'll hang a string from here. All right, um, so what I'm going to do, I was thinking about painting these or doing some sh shiny shellac on it before, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I'm just going to um, do the painting or the shellac and the shiny stuff after it's all put on. That way I can stand back and look at what needs to be done. And um, and then I'll fill in the gaps with things like this. These shells, or these are oyster shells. And, and, and of course, the, the um, shellac will bring out the beauty of these shells. They're absolutely gorgeous. Look at the pink in this one. So, and there's so many different, um, this is a sea urchin, right? I believe that's what it's called. Um, but I took all the spines off of it and gutted it out. Of course, these were all dead when I got them off the beach. And I have so many of these at home. Not here. Um, these I love, these broken down shells, look at the color of that. So I'll just stick these into the spaces that are, you know, just all sorts of different things. Uh, this is called a shark's eye. There's so many different things that I find on this beach. It's just amazing. Don't ask me. I have no idea what that thing is. Um, and then I got little or smaller ones of those broken shells. I believe, I, um, 
Yeah, it's it's one of these shells. See the top of it? Ah, uh, over here. Ah. Uh. They're so pretty when they're whole. I do have a whole one. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where did it go? I don't know. Somewhere around here. Okay. Um Oh, and I have to show you I'm wearing my necklace that I made. This one. Okay. Um, yeah, I finished that one. So, um, I'm going to start this. Like I said, this might be two part. Can you see that? No, you can't. You can't see it. I'm going to have to move the camera up. There. Sorry. Um. <laughs> I just have to make sure I keep looking up to see. What I'm going to do is put it at the edge. Cover. Put it over at the edge so you, the edge isn't being seen when it's hanging up. And this is going to take tons of, I'm using a hot glue gun with this. This is going to take lots and lots and lots of glue. And you have to use a lot in order to get it to stick, you know? And these shells are heavy. So, now let that, and what I'll do is I'll, So, see, because you don't know where to glue it. Where, see, I can't glue the whole entire shell around because the whole entire shell is not going to touch this. Whatever this thing's called. Um, the wreath. Yeah, the metal wreath. So, I have to start it and then go around and finish it. Where it's, where it's touching because a lot of it's not touching. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, let's see. I'm gonna, I want to get them as close as I can and then fill in the gaps. Actually, I can put this one down here. So you get it, you ball, eyeball it, get an idea of where it's touching, and then put the glue on. need be you're gonna have to pick it up and then it's a little space here So you see how long this is going to take. This one's really not even touching. I'm going to glue down here. Right between. So these two shells stick together. Okay, so, um, what else, where else, so, and then, let's see, what could go here, like something like, I 
Now, I don't want to use, like, look at the size. Look how thick that is. See, I don't want to use so many thick ones. Um, oh, that's pretty cool. And the reason why I wanted to shine them up first with that shellac paint, that's because maybe I'll do that because it's hard to see with it dull like this, which, which side I want to use. So I'm going to leave this for the end, the filling in the gaps. Well, this one doesn't need shellac because it's so shiny as it is. So I'm not, I won't do that, but like... Well, I have to go to the store and buy that stuff. I mean, I could put another seashell in here, and I need more seashells. I got them. I have so many of these at home, but not here. I have to go to the beach and get some more. If I could do that, I'll do that here. Isn't so undecided what I wanna what, what I wanna put now. I'll just put this one in here. Can you see that? No, you can't. I'm so glad that this um, these little pieces of glue, you know, you can buy a bunch of them and they're really inexpensive on Amazon. So, um, it's going to take a while. I'll have to make unfortunately I can't I don't I don't know should I now I'll do two I'll do two separate videos what I'll do is I'll put this on pause oh, another thing you could do is like put something like right there oh look at this cool shell will you look at that Will you look at that? Is that not gorgeous? I could put that right there. Or even, well, I'm, I'm saving these kind for my necklaces, my pendants. Wow, look at that plane go. Did you hear it? The plane just went by. Look at this little baby one. <laughs> so cute. There's another plane. Fighter jets. See, South Carolina has a military, I believe. Type of military base around here. Look how pretty that is. Look how shiny that, that is. That must have been a beautiful big shell at one point. Actually, it looks like a perfect place to put that. I'm going to put that right there right now.
so it's <laughs> it's kind of hard to work with all these shelves in a way but I have a small table <laughs> I got so many shelves I shelves are out I'm being outgrown they're taking over my place this table Glad I found something to do with this. Couldn't possibly wear that as a pendant. Okay, so my glue keeps falling off. There we go. Okay. So make hmm. I got an idea. You know what I'll do? I think what I'm going to do, instead of putting them so close together, I'm going to spread them apart. Look at the look at the um, coloring on that. Oh, here comes the sun. It's cloudy here today, but the sun's coming out. Yay! So I'm going to spread them out so I can I leave room for other things. Don't want to mess up my new nails. <laughs> I don't usually put nail polish on unless it's the summertime. And I'm not sure if I'm going to paint these shells. Like, you could paint them, like, different colors. Like, whatever theme you have going on in your house. I won't, I wouldn't put this outside. Personally. Because I think it might get ruined. But I would put this, hang this on a door. Front door with a screen door. You know it would be cool too. You put a little. Oh no, you couldn't. I was gonna say a flower. Oh yeah, and then I could put. I love this starfish because it looks like he's waving. See his little hand up. <laughs> I'll put him, I'm gonna put him on there. I might even paint him white. And also, too, 
I pick up just the really huge ones for some reason, but there are really small, of course, there's smaller ones on, on the beach, but which I will probably get to fill in the spaces. For instance, now these, see, I'm not going to use these because all of these have holes in them that I, you know. yeah, I'll get some smaller ones. So what I'll do is I'll just continue. Just the you know, just putting these anywhere really. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm wondering if I should. No, it doesn't matter. So basically you want all the, you know, the top covered and the bottom. So you don't see any of that leaf. That's what I would do. That's what I'm going to do here. Just going to these whatever. I'll probably couple them together and spread spread it out. And then at the end, when this is all done, you have to go through and pull out all of the straggly pieces of glue. Because this stuff is like... If you ever worked with a glue gun, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to get those two together. Sorry. I'm sorry. You guys can't see what I'm doing. There. That's better. You know, it's hard working with this because this wreath is taking up so much space.
as you can see, I'm going to be here for a while. I was on the beach yesterday. Well, I was on the beach. I, I go to the beach every day because it's 200 feet from me, from my RV. And because I, I have a dog and I walk her on the beach. And actually, I took um, a friend of mine gave me a bike. So I took it for a spin today on the beach. But um, anyways, what I was saying was um, I am I was collecting seashells yesterday. Oh, no, I'm ruining my nails. <laughs> oh, my God. Look at that. I have to get these professionally done. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, yeah, I'm doing a pro another seashell project. It's going to be so cool. And I needed shells, dark black shells like this, but bigger, you know, to, to look like I'm, I'm making a mountain out of them. And I am going to have a, a man, man made out of seashells climbing up the mountain, a hiker. And I'm going to put it on a, um, like a picture frame type thing or something like that. And then I want to do one with a, I want to make somehow, I think I'm going to like sketch a bike and then make a seashell person riding the bike on the canvas. I think that's what I'm going to do with that. I also noticed that the sea oats, seagrass, I call them sea oats. I don't know why. Because um, they kind of look like oats. The seagrass is starting to grow. The little babies, the, the sprouts are starting to come up. We had a storm here and it washed half of the sand dunes away. And now the little babies are starting to be born. <laughs> and I took some. I, I dug some up. About 20 of them. 20 shoots. And I'm going to plant them in a pot. And I'm going to have my own seagrass. I love seagrass. It smells so sweet. You know what I'm talking about. There's a sweet aroma to it. Oh, that's a big one. Should I use that? Maybe I'll put it directly under the top of it. As, have it be it's the centerpiece, the center. Yeah. Okay. 
you see what I'm doing? Yes. Did I show you my Archangel Michael wing I found on the beach? And I made a... Did I... What did I upload? Oh, the sea, um, the sand dollar. I discovered that the sand dollar has a lot to do with Jesus. But let me go show, I got to go, I have to get that. Um, let me show it to you. Archangel Michael Swing, I found on the beach. hope it comes out you know what I'll do I may I may use it as a thumbnail so you can really really I have a picture of it so you can really see it I don't know if you can see that good look at the little wing you see right here I'm not sure if that's coming in good it looks like a wing And it came shiny. Someone asked me if I shined it up, and I said no. It came like that. So I wrapped it, and I put a little, I put my, see that little hole? Put my necklace right through it, and I wear it. I wear it. He protects me, Archangel Michael. <laughs> and that's, to me, this is his wing. That's, I know, I'm, I'm silly like that. And... I found a shark's tooth. I'll show you that. I'm wearing it. And I wrapped it. It's a little baby one. But nevertheless, it's a little baby shark tooth. Yep, I hope that comes out clear. Someday I'll buy a professional a more professional video apparatus um right now i'm using my one of my phones not the best quality okay where did his wing go i want to make sure i put his little wing what did i do with his wing oh here it is I may use that as a thumbnail. Where's my glue? Little pieces coming off. There. It's delicate. It's very delicate. put it over here so it doesn't get mixed up with all my other stuff all right where was I how long have I been recording 34 minutes I just don't want to bore you of course you could click off if you don't like it or fast forward it so I'll just continue You can see what I'm doing? No, of course you can't. Now you can. Okay. <laughs> Good thing I looked right. That must that would be very aggravating. Want me to explain to you about the sand dollar? I think I will. 
you won't have to watch the video. Um, I discovered that the sand dollar. Okay. You see those four? No, you know what? I'm not going to explain it because <laughs> I'm sorry. I should just edit that out, but I won't. Um, I don't want it to. It's, it's a very quick video. I think it's like, I don't know. I think it might be three minutes long. I don't even remember. Not that long, but it's the last one of, I did. It's right before this one. Check it out. It's really interesting. I just don't want to take the time away from... I don't want you to... Um, I have to watch this for forever. You don't have to do anything, but you know what I'm saying, right? Did they all go pairs? No, that, those ones weren't. Decisions, decisions. You know, I got little pieces like like that I could fill in. They're so beautiful. Seashells are so pretty. It's amazing. Everything that's on Earth is just simply beautiful, isn't it? Wouldn't you agree? I'll find seashells that I don't want anymore, right, that I, I can't use for one reason or another, and I can't seem to throw them away in the trash, so I throw them outside. Interesting, isn't it? Okay, continue on. I did it the right way. Right there. Oh, I um <clears throat> I bought another. I did buy 
a votive, glass votive, a square one yesterday, because I want to do another sea glass. Because I wasn't quite happy with that one. I like the smaller sea glass. That one was bigger sea glass, so I'm going to use smaller ones this time. Make another smaller sea glass votive and not use the mason jars. My fingers are kind of bent because I've done massage therapy. <laughs> They're kind of getting really strange looking. I've done, oh, that's ruined too. That nail. I just did my nails before I did this. I should have waited for them to dry. But I've done massage therapy for almost for 18 years and took a toll on my hand, my fingers. I feel as though I should put a brace on them so that I don't go the other direction. All right. Wear and tear of our professions. Physical labor is very it's hard on the body. You know, I was thinking about selling seashells, but the ethical I mean, uh, the I don't know if that's ethical. Because First of all, I don't own this beach, right? OK, 
Faking them is one thing, I think, because everyone does it. But selling them? I don't know. Anyone know? Put in the comment box what your thoughts are on that, please. If you have any thoughts on it. I always strive to do the most ethical thing. Forty-five minutes. Almost done with the bulk of it, and then the rest is filling it, filling in the gaps. should do some more or not well maybe a little bit more here uh oh I need some more glue I thought I just put one in did it fall out yeah it did <laughs> If you hear that noise in the background, that's my doggie. She's she's dreaming. She's making noises. I don't like when dogs do that. Because it sounds like when they, I don't know, when they cry. It's almost like they're crying. I feel bad. But I was, t I read it and I read that. It's okay. They're not. They're processing their day. And that's how they process it is when they sleep. It sounds sometimes it sounds like they're crying. Okay. Let's see. What do you guys think? I'm moving the camera. Kind of to see everything with all these shelves in the way. I know. I know, I know. Too many shelves. Too many shelves. So, um, what I'm going to do is
Okay, I'm just going to start filling in the gaps. Now this is a scallop shell. I don't really find many scallop shells on this beach, but I did. And I don't want any um, Would that be a good neck pendant? I don't know if I should save that for a pendant. Oh my goodness. Decisions, decisions. No, that's not pretty. A little starfish here. Where should he go? So we'll need to be saying hi to the front door. All right. You stay up there. That's where you're going. I think what I need to do is fill in these mediocre, these um, gaps with just mediocre <laughs> type of shells. I don't know. Um, let's see, and then put some fancy stuff on top of it, over it. I mean, nothing mediocre. Maybe, what am I saying? Mediocre about these shells. They're just shells that um, I wouldn't really use for anything. Like I thought I was going to do. And then, yeah, then I'll put fancy stuff on top of it, like, like that. I mean, if you call that fancy, Kimberly, then yeah. Okay. Like, you know. Use stuff like this. I was going to use this for a pendant, but it's not looking like that's what I'm going to use for a pendant. So I'm going to use it for filler. Fill in the gaps.
you see that? What I'm going to do, now that you guys seen most of what I'm doing here, you know, the plan also, what I'll do is I'll finish off, finish up filling in the gaps. <laughs> I'm going to fill in the gaps and then, um, I'll get that shiny stuff and shine up all these oyster shells. I mean, that is, it's going to make all those colors pop. Like when, when I find these, they're wet, right? For the most, for the most part, most of these shells, like something like this, I don't pick those up when they're dry because I mean, look at it, but when they're wet, it, all these colors pop. So that's what I'll do. Um, believe it or not, this is pretty when it's wet. Believe it or not. So that's what I'll do. I'll do that. I'll, I'll do all these pieces. Um, I'll fill in these gaps. And it will just be part one and part two. Um, I don't think I'm going to paint these shells any colors. I'm also going to do these shells with the shellac. Because they're beautiful when they're wet. When they're, you know. So I'm going to end it for now. 59 minutes. That's enough time. I'm going to unplug my glue gun. I think it's something to eat and I'll, can, I'll upload this and then you may have to wait a few days. Look at this. You see how gorgeous that is? Now when that's wet, that is gorgeous. There was another piece I found that was absolutely gorgeous. Where is it? Anyways, I don't know. I don't know where it is right now, but... Um, But that's what I'll do. I will be back with part two. All right. Until next time, you guys take care and have a beautiful day and or night or morning, wherever you are in the world. And um, enjoy this video. If you like my, oh, that looks like a fish. If you like my video, doesn't it? Now, is that bizarre? I might, can you see the fish in that? <laughs> I can. Um, if you like my video, hit the like button. Subscribe to my channel. And as far as the comments, leave any comments you want. But in particular, I'd like to know what your thoughts are on selling seashells from this beach. If it's ethically correct. Okay, I will see you guys next time.